The 17th Gyalwa Kamapa, Trinle Taya Dorje, was born in Tibet in 1983, the son of Mipham Rinpoche, a renowned Buddhist master. Uh, um, Karmapa, well, it's actually a Sanskrit word, yes, and it means uh, the one who holds the activities of Buddhas. The Karmapas have always been among the most important holders of Tibetan Buddhism. In the 12th century, the first Karmapa, a prominent lama of his time, indicated prior to his death that he would again take rebirth. The second Kamapa thus became Tibet's first reborn Lama. Since then, the Kamapas have continued to reincarnate with the express purpose of benefiting other sentient beings. This Tanka painting shows the successive line of reincarnations of the Kamapas in Tibet, as well as other Buddhist masters who were instrumental in transmitting the Buddha's teachings. The 16th Gyalwa Kamapa, Rangjung Rigpe Dorje, was one of those great masters who enabled the Tibetan Buddhist tradition to continue without interruption after they had to leave Tibet in the wake of the Chinese invasion. From the 1970s onwards, he also travelled in the West and imparted the Buddhist teachings to many Westerners. All these incarnates have shown themselves to be authentic Kamapas by displaying extraordinary qualities and they were always confirmed as the Kamapa's reincarnation by a realized disciple of the previous Kamapa. Well, I was uh, recognized uh, by my teacher, uh, the uh, second most you know, respected teacher in our lineage, uh, His Holiness the Shama Rinpoche. He came to age of three, then he shown up the, his quality, and he told to the surrounding people, uh, I am Karmapa. And then a very high Gelupa Rinpoche, who, who is in that area, went to see the family and the boy and tested him. He was highly convinced by saying, like, he, he put a question, where is your monastery? He told, my monastery was in Surpo. Uh, monastery had a golden roof with the two birds on top of it, which was there. It has been destroyed entirely when the Cultural Revolutionist Movement in Tibet. So this Karmapa, I confirm he is the genuine reincarnation of <coughs> the late Kyawa Karmapa who passed away in 1981. In 1994, the young Karmapa fled Tibet. On March the 17th, 1994, Kinsik Shamapa second to the Kamapa in the Kaji school of Tibetan Buddhism, introduced him to the public in New Delhi as the 17th holder of the black crown, Kamapa Trinle Taye Dorje. He had consequently investigated the circumstances surrounding the child. In particular, he focused on certain spiritual procedures to identify the Kamapa's reincarnation, a centuries-old tradition essential to the Kaji school. Under the direction of Kinsik Shamapa, the Gyalwa Kamapa has undergone a rigorous spiritual training covering the entire field of Buddhism in theory and practice. His teachers come from all schools of Tibetan Buddhism, from the Nyingma, the Kaji, the Geluk and the Sakya schools. In 2003, the 17th Gyalwa Kamapa received the title of a Vidyadhara, which marked the formal completion of his monastic education and his mastery of the teachings of the Buddha Dharma.
He has lived in Kalimpong since 1997. Here, he's assumed responsibility for the spiritual education and practice of a large number of Buddhist monks. One of his teachers is Kempo Chudrak Tenpel, who was appointed the head Kenpo of the Kama Kaji school by the 16th Kamapa in 1981. The Gyalwa Kamapas have always been among the most important holders of Tibetan Buddhism. They were clearly predicted by Buddha Shakyamuni and by Padmasambhava. Now the 17th Gyalwa Kamapa travels to countries far and wide to benefit sentient beings and to teach the Dharma. The function and the significance of Kamapa has always been uh, to benefit all sentient beings through teaching and through uh, developing and through spreading and the lineage and the transmissions of uh, Kamakaju. And it has been done throughout uh, the uh, incarnations of Karmapa. <laughs> 